Question number 22 is another one of those best summary questions, something that I'm really fond of because you just eliminate and you work. So when I read this paragraph, what was I left with? Three things. Word embeddings show gender and ethnic biases through history. You can study and remove them. Instead, you can use them to analyze the history of the biases. These are the basically three things that we have. So A does not mention the third idea. B does not mention the third idea. And apart from that, both of these do not even uh, talk about, uh, no, I think stereotypes and biases are still there. So that will still work. Okay, C, word embeddings can effectively locate existing biases. No, they, they, you do not use them to locate. You use them as a clue. So C has that problem and D, D carries the last idea plus it implies the first idea because you know word, word embeddings should be used to record existing historical biases instead of removing biases and prejudices in words that basically tells you that words do have those biases so it gives you the more important last idea plus a hint of the first idea the rest of them uh, focus the, on the first idea they ignore the second idea completely changing the main idea in case you still have some confusion think of it Think of it this way, when a person says something and then uses but, you realize that the part after but is the important part. Hmm? I like you a lot, but I think we should be just friends. Which part is important? So it's more important for us to retain this part after but than the part that is before but and that is why for this particular question we'd go ahead and choose D over A, B and C as D contains the idea that is more important for us in this paragraph. So that's question number 22.